Hello everyone. So the item that I'm going to show you today is my Chanel mini vanity case. This is in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. And mine is from direct from the boutique. It was purchased from 20S season and it's called the O Clutch with Chain. And I actually purchased this one a week before the United States had it shut down, so of course, because of the pandemic. Um, of course, I didn't know that was going to happen, so I was happily shopping the week before the pandemic hit, um, and I got this one in the boutique. I was on the waiting list for it, and I was contacted through an essay that I had worked with before that it had come in. And this is what I paid for it, $13.50, and that was exactly a year ago or close to. Um, I've seen these things now going for like, $2,800 on the resale market, which is absolutely obscene. Um, I think because of Chanel's price increases the past two times, it's now closer to $1,800. Um, yeah, I, I, only you can determine what it's worth to you, but to me, it's worth what I paid for it at the time. The dimensions of the bag, it's not a true square. Its depth is a little bit smaller than its length, but it is approximately four inches in its length three and three quarter inches in its height, 3.75 in its height. In its depth right here, it's two and three quarter inches, 2.75 inches. The chain, which I have tucked away in here, mine comes down to approximately 21 inches. It's a full, nice length chain, and it's on the thinner side. So it's a thin chain, um, but really well done. It's very thick and, and nice. Um, but it goes completely in and minus 21 inches and I'll show you in the mod shots That I can kind of sling it crossbody. So that's not a problem um, And you'll also see in the mod shots that I've brought up the chain a little bit uh, Shorter to wear it as a shoulder bag or a small handbag and that's because I purchased these little doo-wops right here I don't know what they're called um, but you can stop your chains in any of your bags from coming up to a certain point you can get it to whatever length you want by putting these around the chains. Um, so that's what I used. And I picked up like a whole bag of these for $5.99 on Amazon, I think. Um, so anyway, I've made quite a lot of use out of this bag, believe it or not. Uh, it's, well, I, I hate to even say it's a bag. It's not a bag. It doesn't hold my everyday essentials. It's a novelty item for sure. Um, yeah, there's no way your phone is going in there. Let's be realistic about it. The phone is not going in and nobody's got a phone that's going to fit in this thing. Um, so you've got to be comfortable either not having your phone with you or carrying your phone in some other place, um, a jacket, a pocket, a dress, whatever, or, or not, taking, not taking one at all. I pulled out just some random items to give you guys an idea of sizing for this little guy. So you can see how small it is. There's a coffee cup, standard coffee cup. You can see they're about the same height. Let's see what else I pulled out, which we should all have in our homes, a roll of toilet paper, just your standard size roll of toilet paper, almost the same height. I pulled out, I have two little toy dogs and this is their toy dog food, which also looks like cat food. You can see if you stack two little cat foods or two little dog foods together, you're almost at the height of that bag. Okay. And then I just pulled out some items that uh, will or will not fit inside. Um, it's a zip around little item. And the biggest, biggest, biggest downfall with this bag is the zippers. They are super, super hard. Um, at the time I bought it, there were no videos on YouTube. Of course, now there are some. But these zippers are super hard to work. Um, and I've even seen some people on YouTube struggling, so it's not just me. Um, they don't go in a natural zipper type position, you know, which is straight across. And I was deciding between this square one and the circular clutch, if you're familiar with that one. Um, and ultimately, I went with the square looking one because the circular clutches, if you look at some of the zippers on the resale market, they're all misaligned. They look absolutely terrible. Um, so I wanted to make sure that my zippers at least didn't go misaligned. So I went ahead and stuffed it with some items and just to kind of give you an idea of what its capacity is. But I also wanted to show you some of the more popular items or just things people like to carry. There's the key clay. It exceeds the length of the vanity case, so that will not fit in either direction. And it will also not fit um, diagonally, so it just won't go in. Um, a card case, this is not a brand name card case, but I know um, people have them and no matter what brand you have, a card case won't go in the bag. It's too long and it's also too long um, in this direction as well. And then the O case, 
from Chanel, you can see that it also exceeds the length of this item. So it has no chance of going in there either. There are still things that can go in though. Um, I used it the two most recent times. I'll just give you an example. I used it when I took my dogs to the groomers. I didn't need my phone. I was just dropping them off and picking them up. Um, so I ran in and all I needed was the payment, which is the card and the tip money, which was cash. That's really the only things I needed. Um, and I had someone else in the car with me and they had a phone. So I didn't need my phone with me. Uh, second thing that I recently used it for was my car. I had to take my car to the auto shop. And again, I had someone with me and they had their phone and all I was doing was dropping my car off. So again, I just needed my debit card and my ID and that was about it. So I knew I didn't have to carry the phone. I think if you're with another person and they have a phone and you know you'll be with them the entire time, you can absolutely take this little guy along. Here's the inside. And you can see that I've stuffed it with a few items in there. I've got cards and cash in the back. I've got a lipstick, standard size lipstick, a chapstick, a square compact, and I will also show you that a round compact will fit, and then a key and a face mask. So that's not too bad, right? The capacity is not too bad. This is a square compact. Let me go ahead and put a round one in. And you can kind of see you would have everything you'd need there for a night out minus the phone and that's a pretty good capacity and you can see everything the only thing is that it's very difficult to open and close like i mentioned before so i have found that if i leave it like this it's a little bit easier for me to get in and out of because i've got a head start so um it's you don't want to be standing in line opening this thing. It's a little bit tricky and it's going to take some time. So you want to be ready to go at the time you need to pay or get something out. Um, but that's what I've been able to fit. And I don't even carry that much. When I go to the store, for instance, I'm wearing the face mask, so that's not in there. Um, I'm probably not wearing a lipstick for just a two minute errand. Chapstick, maybe. Compact, probably not. Maybe for a night out I would carry all this, but just to run errands, I'm just going to take cards and cash, pretty much, and a key. Um, this is just a test key, you know, to show you guys the keys will fit in there, but if you have larger fobs, obviously they will as well. There's a space right here, which I suppose is for a lipstick, but I can't get that square one in there, so not going to work there. But a round little one would go in, my chapstick. Um, I also pulled out, just for your reference, since a lot of people are carrying hand sanitizer these days, uh, hand sanitizer will go in, not standing up, but you could put it down at a tilt right there, or actually lengthwise right there. Um, and that's really the only stuff that I pulled out to show you guys. Um, if there's something specific, like I said, let me know. Um, don't think you're buying a bag. Don't justify this as a actual bag it's not uh, for most people it's not going to work but if you're comfortable with not having your phone put somewhere um, you know other than your hand or a pocket then it, it could work I can see it working for a night out and I'm dying to take it to like a dance club because a lot of times when I go to dance clubs I see women wearing like full-size bags and stuff when they're dancing which is super super awkward and I don't like leaving my purse or my bag with other people if I'm dancing I like to have it on me and this is so unobtrusive that I could totally see this coming to like a dance club or something like that so that's another way that I intend to use it is like for dancing because I can wear it and not look totally stupid doing so if you have any questions about it, let me know. Once again, it's the Chanel mini vanity case. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.